Hey there everyone, this is Jim from Just Push Play, Ottawa's video game web show, and today I'm with the winner of today's Yu-Gi-Oh! tournament. So let me know, what uh, what was the tournament called today? Uh, today was um, the first ever Duelist League tournament at um, Toys on Fire. It's the first ever Duelist League tournament they've had, obviously. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just a good time to uh, come out, learn how to play, and just have fun. And I'm actually learning how to play as well. So what is your name, sir? Uh, my name is Matthew. Uh, Matthew, so how long have you been playing uh, Yu-Gi-Oh for? I used to play this game religiously as a kid. I played up until whatever set came out after Pharaonic Guardian, I can't remember. Um, then I just quit playing for a long time and uh, my younger brother actually recently got me back into it. He handed me a bunch of cards and demanded that I play with him. And I just started playing and went from there and bought some packs. Awesome. So you won today's tournament. Have you won other tournaments before, or uh? never? Um, this is definitely the first. I was. Honestly. And you get it recorded too. <laughs> yeah, that was a bit of a surprise. Um, I wasn't expecting that. But, um, Have you played other card games, sir? Or I know how to play Pokemon. <laughs> That's about it. Have you been to the Pokemon events here before as well, or? I only know how to play. Oh, um, okay. I'd probably be pretty terrible at it. I'm, I might, I'd go as far to say I'm probably better at solitaire than Pokemon. I'm terrible at solitaire. Okay, and uh, are you a regular to Toys on Fire here in Barhaven, or? Uh, ever since I got back into the card game, I suppose you can say I'm a regular. Um, I suppose when it gets to the point where you're on a first name basis with the <laughs> store owners, you become a regular, so. Nice. Okay, do you play video games as well, considering this a video game web show? Absolutely, I play tons of video games. Um, shooters have kind of dropped for me because we haven't had anything good come out since Serious Sam 3, BFE, and then the last amazing shooter is Battlefield Bad Company 2. Ever since then, it's just been, here's a chest high wall, let's all hug it for 30 <laughs> minutes. <laughs> that just doesn't appeal to me. That's, that's pretty funny. So what video games do you recommend uh, for the viewers out there? Right now, um, I suppose I have all kinds of things for whatever is your cup of tea. Don't Starve is an amazing uh, survival game. It's almost as if Minecraft was a lot harder. Right. Um, what else have I been playing recently? Torchlight 2 is a nice single-player mm -hmm. RPG yeah. game. Um, for any of you interested in that without having to deal with all the nasty MMO people. <laughs> And it's a bit bloody and violent, but if you want to play a nice sort of shooter, um, what is it called? Hotline Miami, which I've been playing a lot recently, is a nice top-down pixelated shooter. Okay, so quick question. What video games are you looking forward to that are coming out in the next few uh, weeks or months? That might be a bit of a tough one, I suppose. Pokemon X and Y. All right. <laughs> um, just because I've always been a huge Pokemon fan, but... Everything else is all hype and no substance. That's all I'm gonna say. All right, fair enough. Okay, well, actually, there are a few uh, events coming up at Toys on Fire, and uh, I just uh, you can look them over and just let everyone know about them. So the first one, I believe, is in August. So if you can read that out, I'll give you the mic. Yep. On uh, right there. There's a Yu-Gi-Oh! tournament on Sunday, August 4th from 12.30 to 4 p.m. Um, it's an actual official tournament, so if you want to come out and go to uh, locals, you can do this. They'll give you a Konami ID if you register with them. Uh, it's $5 per person to register for the tournament. And for more information, you can subscribe to their mailing list on their website. Right. And oh, here, I'll take that for you. <laughs> now... This is an interesting one. An Oktoberfest Pokemon tournament. Um, I suppose you can come out and... Uh, I don't think there's any beer, so any of you drunkies, no. Go away. There is a pop machine over there, but uh, it's a uh, Coca-Cola, Canada Dry, any of the... Or bring your own... Maybe bring your own drinks. There's expensive soda over there. <laughs> um, I don't know if they'll have any Bratwurst, but if they do, I might come, even though I don't play Pokemon. Yeah. Um, it's on Sunday, September 29th, and it's just going to be a family fun day to go ahead and play. Um, $10 per person. Sign-in starts at 12 p.m., and tournament starts at 1 p.m. Excellent. Well, thank you very much, Matthew, and uh, hopefully this is the first uh, tournament you win of m very many. And uh, 
We'll see. You never know, right? You know? The meta is so broken. <laughs> it might be a start of a dynasty. All right. Well, thank you very much for your time, sir. And uh, yeah, best of luck. And I'm sure I'll be back around Toys on Fire. And hopefully I'll see you again. Do you actually, by the way, uh, before we go, do you have any final words for, uh, you know, video gamers out in Ottawa or, you know, say hi to your family or friends? Final words? I suppose. Did you know that bird seed is tangible? <laughs> I did not know that. That's good to know. All I got on the fly. All right. Well, take care, guys. This is Jim from Just Push Play signing off. Take care.